Hello everybody and welcome to another Forza Horizon 5 video. Last time I drove this thing, the Lotus Avaya, and I got a million drift score on the drift zone I'm in right now. This is an insane electric hypercar. I definitely recommend try drifting this thing because it's absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen that video, click on the banner in the top right of the screen. Here's the car we'll be focusing on in today's video. The brand new AMG 1. And yes, it's AMG 1, not AMG Project 1. This thing is a hybrid hypercar made by Mercedes. I think this thing looks absolutely amazing. And in Forza, it has race mode, so we'll come back to that in a minute. It is S2927 stock, has all-wheel drive, it has 877 horsepower, and it weighs 3,700 pounds, which seems a bit heavy, but I guess it makes sense when you have the electric batteries in there for the hybrid powertrain. All right, let's rev this thing. Okay, it sounds pretty good. Now let's launch this thing. It sounds pretty good, and you can definitely hear the electric motors working at it too, the little whine. Now I want to test if race mode actually makes a difference in this game. I will do three tests to see if it actually does make a difference, and we will see by how much it makes a difference. Alright, our first test is going to be acceleration. We're going to see how fast this car accelerates with and without race mode. How we determine the difference is the speed trap towards the end of the drag strip. Whichever mode has the higher speed at the end of the drag strip has faster acceleration. This car actually has launch control too. So how you engage in launch control, you do have to be in manual. But you go into reverse, then you go back into first, mash the brake, and mash the gas, and you can see it's limiting the revs so that I have the best launch possible. All right, let's see how fast this car accelerates, not in race mode. All right, let's go. All right, what are we gonna get? 176. Now let's put this car in race mode and do it again. First, the wing comes up. Then the suspension lowers, and then those little fins come up. Now we're going to do the same thing with race mode engaged. Let's go. Okay, 167. So it has quicker acceleration without track mode. Our next test will be cornering. Normally I would go in a circuit race and see which would get a better lap time, race mode or without race mode. But whenever you go in a race with a car that has race mode, it just automatically puts it in race mode. You can't do races without race mode in this car. To make this test fair, I'm gonna make each car do 60 miles an hour as it starts the speed zone, and whichever car has the faster speed through the speed zone has better cornering. First, let's do it without race mode. 60 miles an hour. And then we go all out. Okay, okay. Car definitely does not like to turn without race mode. And on the gas. Alright, this car got a 97.47. Now let's do the same thing with race mode. Alright, we can put the power down now. Definitely a lot better handling in race mode, as you might expect. Okay, I did that absolutely terribly, but I have a feeling we still got a better score. 101.24. So the AMG 1 has better cornering with race mode on. Our third test will be what the top speeds of the car is with and without race mode. First, I'm going to test the top speed without race mode. 249. 249 miles an hour without race mode. Now let's see the top speed with race mode. Alright, downhill, come on. So 
207, 208, 209, 210. 211 miles an hour with race mode. So we have now concluded that this car has better cornering in race mode, but worse acceleration and top speed. All right, let's do a race with this thing stock. Oh my God, that Rimac's gonna be gone off the line. But he's gonna be terrible around the corners because he's heavy. Oh my God, LaFerrari, get out of here. Well, I can tell you right away that this thing is amazing handling. It does maybe slip out a little bit in the corners, so I wonder if we can put better tires on this thing to, so that I can fix that. It's pretty quick too. Where I catch up to them is in the corners. The Zenvo with its wing moving around. Ooh, almost crashed into him there. Wouldn't want him to catch on fire. Yeah, this thing has pretty good handling. This is a cool racetrack, I like it. You go under all the tunnels and then at the end of the tunnels, you kind of jump out. Whoa, that could be dangerous if you jump too high. Yeah, this is a great car. Definitely one of the cars you will want to get. I got mine from a wheel spin. I don't remember if it was a super wheel spin or a normal wheel spin, but I'm very happy that I have this car. It is amazing. Definitely one to try out. And across the line, first place. All right, we tried this thing stock. Now let's see how this thing is maxed out. Uh, we already have all wheel drive. Not sure why you would want to make it rear wheel drive. But if you want to, go ahead and do so. All right, can we put some better tires on this? Yes, because they are on semi-slicks stock. We're going to put slicks on this thing. And you can only make the front tires wider? That's odd. Oh, these rims are actually the lightest possible. Oh, that's cool. Good, because I love the look of these rims. I didn't want to change them. All right, transmission. We aren't on a race transmission? That's surprising to me. Okay, six speed helps your acceleration. 10 speed also helps your acceleration, but it gets rid of your handling. Uh, I think I'll go with a 10 speed. It doesn't have a race diff on it, that's interesting. All right, we'll do that. Uh, all right, let's see what suspension we can put on this. It's not on race suspension, are you serious? Rally suspension and drift. Yeah, race suspension, please. We will upgrade the anti-roll bars. All right, how much weight can we take out of this thing? 628 pounds, making this thing 3,100 pounds. Definitely an improvement. Can we add much horsepower? Not by the looks of it. Okay, 106, that's not bad. 117, and how much will the turbo do? 159, and we are now X-Class. We took away about 600 pounds, and we now have 1,300 horsepower in X-Class. Here is the X-Class tune I made, and here's the share code. Wow, that is an interesting colored Senna. I kind of like it. All right, let's see how this thing is in X-Class. Whoa, it goes off the line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This thing has a lot of power now. It almost can't handle it. Whoa, that jump is crazy. Bye bye, Jesco. Wow, I feel quick in this car. Now this thing is really fast and really good at handling. This is an insane X-Class car. Yeah, when you accelerate, like from really low speeds with this thing, it steps out. It can't handle all of that power. The Nymon slicks. Jeez, first place is gone. I need to catch up. Come on, I want to pass the McLaren. And he's gone. No, I'm gonna come second. No, no, I've been defeated for the first time. What car was he in? Ah, he was in a Chiron, of course. Well, that was the Mercedes AMG one. This car is insane. I definitely recommend getting this car if you have the chance to. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.